Republicans controlling the House have released a two-track plan to increase the nation's borrowing cap by $1 trillion and permit a larger increase next year. Next year's debt ceiling increase would be dependent on Congress passing cuts to benefit programs like Medicare and farm subsidies. The plan unveiled by House Speaker John Boehner would impose $1.2 trillion in cuts to domestic agencies over the coming decade and establish a special panel of lawmakers to recommend cuts to benefit programs for a vote by the end of December. The two-track proposal was opposed by Democrats and President Obama, but may be emerging as the most likely resolution to the current debt crisis. And joining us now to discuss the debt showdown is Republican Congressman Bob Goodlett, who represents Virginia's 6th District. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Good to be with you, Bob. What is your take on the, uh, the current proposal? Uh, would you be, uh, is that sound acceptable to you, the two-track uh, uh, proposal that uh, Speaker uh, Boehner has come up with? Well, obviously, uh, it's right now the only uh, plan that's uh, uh, out there that has the prospect of passing either the House or the Senate, but we have not seen the details. We do not know how much of that $1.2 trillion in spending cuts will occur in the first year, and uh, there are lots of other details we would like to see. So uh, we're waiting for that. We understand that the Congressional Budget Office will complete scoring uh, on it uh, by this evening, and so hopefully sometime this evening we'll have uh, the actual legislative language and a lot more information from the Congressional Budget Office. Nonetheless, I think it's important to point out that the House has already passed uh, legislation that would increase the debt limit subject to uh, very substantial cuts in spending, $5.8 trillion, and uh, caps on spending, and subject to the passage of a balanced budget amendment. That was rejected on Friday by the Senate by a uh, pretty close margin. And so now the issue becomes what can either the House or the Senate pass uh, that does something on a shorter term basis. This is not the, the reason the president is apparently opposing this is because it doesn't get him through the next election. Uh, and he wanted a $2.4 trillion uh, uh, debt limit increase all in one shot. And this doesn't do that. And if we get to this uh, bipartisan, bicameral panel that you referred to in uh, November, and we have a vote on it and it doesn't pass, then we'll have to have these same negotiations take place at that point in time. Well, so it really uh, is a two-step process. Well, uh, that, that process is a two-step, the uh, Speaker Boehner proposal. But Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid is putting together his own $2.7 trillion package of spending cuts that would also push the government's borrowing authority through next year, a timeline that Obama and the top Democrats are demanding. Are you just totally opposed to that, or is that something Republicans in general are opposed to taking it through the next election cycle? We're told that uh, Senator Reid doesn't have the votes to pass that through the Senate. So the uh, really issue is, uh, does this plan uh, deserve to be adopted by the House and sent over to the Senate as the best alternative we certainly do not want to see uh, any default on our government obligations, and we definitely do want to see substantial spending cuts. Since this is a two-step process uh, and the initial cuts are substantial uh, and uh, we'll have another opportunity to have further cuts in spending uh, later on this year, uh, this certainly has a lot of merit that uh, deserves to be examined, but we'll have to look at the details before we can make a determination whether this is the best way to go or not. The problem that Senator Reid has is that his plan uh, has got to get passed by the Senate. Our problem is we've got to get this plan passed by the House. We'll see who can perform. Okay, uh, not much time left, but quickly, is August 2nd the drop dead deadline, or does it have to be done sooner because it, it takes a while to get the kinks worked out as far as passage? Well, I think that uh, we're looking to get it done as quickly as we can. But I think August 2nd is a, a key date. It's certainly an important date. And we also believe that the president can take steps uh, if, uh, for some reason, neither of these plans got passed and sent to the president before August 2nd to assure that people's uh, Social Security checks, okay. uh, our military, and so on, got paid. All right. Republican Congressman Bob Goodlett, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Bob. Aubrey?